that box down. What's in the box? Oh, uh, you guys already know what this is. I actually probably don't. You know it's a Grax card. GTX 1080 from NVIDIA. So in case you're wondering, uh, this is for an up and coming project and if you're wondering why there's tape on it, it's because there's no screws in the Stroud right now. Um, which is fine because I'm taking the whole block off anyways because this is going to get put on water. So this is for an upcoming build next month. I'll probably video a lot of it. It's actually going to be fun. I can't tell you guys exactly what the build is or where it's going to be just yet. You'll, you'll see. It will actually be a live custom water cooled build. So be fun. And this is another package. Um, this one's from EVGA. It's for the same computer build actually. Dun -dun. Uh, 1300 watt power supply. Plan is to go to Ikea. I was gonna go to Ikea today. However, the traffic in Atlanta is horrible because we had an interstate, literally like a bridge on an interstate caught fire and fell. And so the traffic in Atlanta right now is horrendous to the point where I'm not going to go get the table today. If I do, I might see if I can go like the last hour the store is open. I'm going to check to see how bad traffic is first. If traffic is clear, I'm going to go do that. If it's not, I'm not. I'm going to get some bins here. I found some bins on eBay and on Craigslist. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to go with, but I'm going to go pick up some bins from this like section here so I can organize all this. Once I get the bins, all this can go in the bins. I just have nowhere to put all this stuff right now. You guys are all going to see this kind of transform in one video. So this will be over the course of like two or three days, depending on when I go pick up everything. So it's day three. So the cables came in for the EVGA power supply. In case you can't tell what color that is on camera, that is orange and black. And this is the EVGA case that I just got for an upcoming build. I'm going to be modding this slightly to have like a overwatch like theme, but give you guys an idea of how big this box is. That's a divine C and that's a table. The box is higher than the table. So that's huge. All right, little update. See, I have the bins here. I already started filling some of them up. I have the rail system here and in the boxes here. And over here, I have the tabletops. Um, they're not actually tabletops. It's confusing, but they're only $10 at Ikea in the as is section. They're barely beat up at all. Originally, each one of these is like 150 bucks a piece. And this material is super strong. This is what it is. In case anyone's wondering. I went ahead and got two of them. They had two of them over there. So I'm going to bolt them together and make a table to, out of it. And also, depending on how beat up it is once I open it up, I might just cover it in Rhino liner. Anyways, I'm in 20 bucks. I figured it's worth a shot. So I'm gonna set up the camera and do a time lapse. Uh, here's a problem. It's not a problem, just I'm trying to put together the cart thing for all these bins, give you an idea. I think there's like close to like 72 bins. Uh, some of them have stuff in it, some of them don't yet. The ones back there don't. So I kind of put everything in different bands, 120 millimeter fans with three pins, 120 millimeter fans with four pins, 140, so on and so forth, fan accessories, uh, keyboard stuff, water cooling stuff, like a, um, some of the stuff that I use, uh, GPU heat sinks, heat sinks for CPUs. So I've kind of organized everything. That's a kitty cat. Look at that cat. And then, there's, there's another cat. That's the skinny one. This is the fat one. Anyways, do you guys like the fat cat or the skinny cat more? So I'm putting together the shelving. It's kind of interesting. Uh, nothing's labeled. There is nothing, nothing's labeled. The diagrams are pretty horrible. They're just like, hey, put it together. 
Okay, so I stopped filming for a couple different reasons. One, my dog got out. I spent like an hour looking for him. It was ridiculous. Second thing is, is that in the process of this, because I don't have that much room, because I have everything laid out in here, I end up scratching my Defiant C case really bad. Um, it's going to be really good. It's going to be really cool to have this installed. So you can push it from the top, and this thing's not going to tip over. So that's really awesome. Like you can give it a pretty good, pretty, pretty good push, and it's not going to tip over. So I'm really excited. Time to wheel this sucker in and get it up against the wall. So I was ready to install the shelves and the bins. The problem is, I think this is the way the shelves are supposed to install. You see how there's no wiggle room back and forth, right? Problem is, I have all the shelves installed like this one, where there is this wiggle room. Also, and if you go in the front, there's like no lip if you go this way, right? See, there's like no lip, so you can slide the bins in and out really easy. The way that I thought they went were with like a big lip here, so the bins don't go in, but the problem is it's just super, doesn't like lock into place this way. Um, so I have to go through and flip every single one of these rails. Except for the top one, I think the top one's actually supposed to go upside down because it's supposed to hold this piece of wood and this way it's hidden. Uh, so I think the top is okay. but that really sucks. I am, oh, I'm not happy. It's a lot of work. One eternity later. Tired. I'm exhausted. This room has a long ways to go, but that big pain is finally gone. This thing took forever. Literally, I started working on this, I don't know, round one today. It's like 10. It is a kind of a nightmare to put together. You can't do it by yourself. You have to have someone else. It takes a lot of hammering. Anyways, but it's, it's strong. It's made to hold something like 1,200 pounds. So you can put a lot of stuff here and you don't have to worry about stuff breaking. The nice thing about containers like this is that you don't have to wonder what's in the box. You have a really easy way of like identifying what everything is. Like over here, I know this is thermal paste, thermal pads, just by like glancing in for a second, you can see it, you know? There's some fluid, there's uh, like random fitting stuff. This is gonna be O-rings, 16 millimeter fittings, 12 millimeter fittings, um, you can, basically get a good idea of what's in everything. So I, I'm excited, I'm, I'm really happy. This is a drawer of GPUs here. So there's a 10, uh, 1080, 1070, and a like a 670. Anyways, so that's done. I have to get some acoustic treatment in here to stop the echo. This is two tabletops over there. Those are the tabletops I got for $10. Probably gonna to try to get that up. Not tomorrow, probably the next day because I don't have the legs yet. So I'm still waiting on the legs for that. So tomorrow is basically gonna be getting, cleaning up the computer cases, getting everything into here I have more stuff over here. I still have more stuff in the other rooms. But for the most part, tomorrow's just gonna be about filling this guy up. So I was hoping to have that set up and I was hoping to have the tables done. But considering since the legs aren't gonna be here for a couple of days, I'm not gonna get that done in this vlog. So I figured I'm gonna go ahead and end it right here. Smash that like button if you're excited for this room and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.